What's up keepers and welcome back to ARS Goalkeeping. And today's video was voted in by the Discord crew who wanted to know how to throw a ball farther and what is the proper technique that the professionals use to get their thrown services downrange quickly and safely. Don't forget to join us on our awesome goalkeeping Discord and the link will be down below in the comment section and in the description link. So let's jump right into this tutorial. First and most importantly, wherever we go to work on technique like this, we need to make sure the whole body is warmed up and stretched out. The shoulder and arm can easily get thrown out from bad movements in this throw, so you must protect yourself if you want to do the technique without messing up anything in your arm. And remember, just like throwing the ball is a full body motion, this means you need to stretch the whole body, even your legs and groin area to make sure there is no chance for silly injuries. When you're throwing the ball, it's a full body motion, right? You're pulling through, you're going through. It's not just the arm. The arm is just kind of a trebuchet or the catapult. It's a counterweight that gets thrown. So what I'm doing is I come and you push down. So secret number one, get a good grasp of the ball. Yeah, you see how I have it here? We tuck it into the shoulder here. We tuck it into the hand. When we tuck it into our hand here or lock it into position, we can do this without losing the ball. See how I'm not losing the ball here? Now, the next thing is to pick my destination and point above it so I pull down and I'm pulling this counterweight here. So what's the idea here? We're creating a power to come down. Come, come close to my, this hand, left hand. Yeah, we're breaking this power. I, I open, squeeze, and as I pull, I go over the top, yeah? To practice the motion, because I see a lot of keepers throw over here or even throw like a baseball, which you can if you're a good pitcher. But normally I do this, and we come down. This, and we come down. Point out your other hands, boom. You're not putting power into this. You're just doing the motion. You're just doing the motion of doing a full rotation of your shoulder. Allow the full rotation of your body to create that power. That's all you want to do. Create power with the full rotation. And when we throw, right, you're going to see I'm going to do a two-step shuffle, right? So I'm pointing there. I'm going to do a two-step shuffle. I'm going to point. Knee is pointing that way. My body is pointing this way. Just like a pitcher, you're coming in and you're going all completely there, following your body. When you service the ball, you're looking for the ball to actually come down. Watch the skip, skip, and then come to the foot. So you wanna actually aim low. Aiming high and having too much of an arc is not good. Too much of an arc means that they're not going to have enough time to take the ball down and attack the uh, defense as an offender attacking the defense with the ball turned and your chest going towards goal. You can only do that with a good service. That's essential with the service here. So you want to keep it where the, key, uh, where the players can actually service the ball or dribble with the ball, and that's low to the feet. So Nala, yeah, coming in, yeah. See what happens. Anything too high, he can't control it. And again. Yeah. Yeah. Look how easy that becomes. The first bounce and then the touch. Bounce, yes, right? not. The little bounce is meant to make it easier for him to control it. Boom. Ball controlled right there. So what I'm explaining is when I throw out of the back, why keepers put that bounce right in between it? Because if it's high up or waiting for the ball, the defender's gonna come into your back. But if it's on your foot, you can touch it just like a normal pass. So I'm gonna give you a throw. I want you to touch it to a side and just dribble up, all right? Yeah? So pretty much what we see is the difference between one and two touches, right? If I send it up high, he's got to bring it down and then dribble. But if I send it down underneath the hips, he's got the control to go either way and attack the defender coming in. 
This is huge for the pass out of the back. Why? Because you're attacking the fenders. You're not letting them come in and dictate where you're gonna go. You've actually put them on the back foot with your first touch, not with your second touch. So the first touch, they don't know, are you running down the line? Are you coming back square? There's no idea. So that's the main idea of a good throw. You need to make it a throw that's manageable. It's a good pass out of the back. Too high, too hard to control, right? It just doesn't work. Yeah. And again, one more. So that's pretty much it for my long throw tutorial. Here are some of my clips using this technique in my matches so you can see how it's supposed to look. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comments down below. And don't forget to slam that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all very soon. Yeah.